Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is Prime Factors, Lowest Common Multiple, Highest Common Factor. And these are exam questions, and we start with some common exam questions, and then we move on to some tricky exam questions. Right, let's do it. Okay, first step is to split into prime factors. So we have 2 and 14, 2 and 7, these are all prime. We have 105, which is 5 and 21. And this is 3 and 7. We then set up our Venn diagram. And we look at what do they share. Well, they only share 7. So that 7 goes into the middle. And then 28 has 2 and 2. And 105 has 5 and 3 left over. And the lowest common multiple is multiplying everything inside the Venn diagram. So we multiply using our calculator and we get 420 as our answer. Next question. Again, we draw our Venn diagram. And we see what do they share? Well, they both have 3 occurring twice. This would leave 3 to the 2 left over. So I could put that in the middle. They also have 5 occurring 3 times which would leave one five left over, five three times. And they also have a seven. And then we have 11 and three to the two on the right hand side. And on the left, we just have a five. Okay, highest common factor is everything in the middle. So that's three squared times five cubed times seven, which is seven, eight, 7, 5. And the lowest common multiple is everything times together. So I've already times the middle, so I just need to times everything else which is left over. So I'll times this by 5, and I'll times it by 3 squared, and I'll times it by 11. And I get 3, 8, 9, 8, 1, 2, 5. And we're done. Next question, we've got to write this as a product of prime factors. So rather than starting with 2, I'm going to start with 72 and 10. Just think it makes it a little bit quicker. That's 2 and 5. 72 is 9 and 8. 9 is 3 and 3. And 8 is 2 and 4. And 4 is 2 and 2. I can then collect up how many twos do I have? Well, I have uh, four twos, so it's two to the four, and I have two threes, and I have a five. Now, here comes the tricky part of the question. Find the smallest whole number that 720 can be multiplied to give a square number. So a square number must have even powers. At the moment, those two are even, but one is not even. So if I multiply this by five, then that will give me two to the four times three squared times five squared. And this is a square number. And I can explain why, because I can split it up as two, times 2 times 2 times 2 so I can split up the 4 into two twos and I can split up the 2 here into a 1 and a 1 so I can have a 1 3 on that side 1 3 on that side and now I can have 1 5 on this side and 1 5 on that side so now this number is definitely a square number because it's two numbers which are the same multiplied together Next question, find the highest common factor of 96 and 120. Well, I'm going to use the same method. Whoops. Uh, 96 is uh, 2 multiplied by 48, which is 6 times by 8, which is 2 and 3, 2 and 4, 2 and 2. And 120 is 2 times 60. 6 times 10, 2 and 3, 
2 and 5. Now the highest common factor are the ones that they share. So they share a 2, they share another 2, they share another 2, and they share a 3. And that's it, that's all they share, so that's 8 times 3, which is 24. Okay, the lowest common multiple of three different numbers. So, a quick way of working out the lowest common multiple is taking the highest power of each prime factor which occurs within the numbers. So, let's look at the twos. The highest two is two to the four, which means that two to the four must be in the lowest common multiple because it is a factor of one of these numbers. And let's look at the threes. We have we just have one three in there, so that has to be also in the lowest common multiple. And if we look at the fives next, we have uh, uh, five to the two is the highest power. And if we look next at the sevens, we have seven to the two is the highest power. And then finally, we have um, running out of colours, uh, just 11 is the highest power, so that has to be in as well. Okay, so we get my calculator out and we do 2 to the 4 multiplied by 3 times 5 squared times by 7 squared times by 11. And we get 64680. Here's a tricky question. We don't know much about C. We just know that it has at least one two, at least one five, and at least one seven. Now, when we're selecting the highest common factor between two numbers, we always look for the lowest power to take. And when we're looking for the LCM, we always take the highest power between the two numbers. So if we look here at the number of um, uh, twos between B and C, then we would have selected the lowest power being two to the three. So we would have selected this one, which means that P must be greater than three. So I know from the start that P is greater than or possibly equal to three. And now let's look at the sevens. Well, between B and C, we have 7 to the 4 or 7 to the R. And we selected the lowest power, which was 7 to the 1, which means that R must have been that lowest power. So R is 1. And now we're looking at the LCM where we select the highest powers. So we're looking first at um, the 2s between A and C. Well, we selected the highest power. A doesn't have any 2s. So the 2 to the 4 must have come from the C, so that means that P must have been 4. And then let's look at the 5s. So we selected 5 to the 2, which was the highest power between A and C. A was 1, and C was 5 to the Q. So that means that the Q must have been 2, because that was the highest power, and we selected it. And we're done. Okay, last question, which I think is the trickiest one. It says write n in standard form. Well, first off, I would need to divide the 480 by 100. And in doing so, to keep the number the same, I must times this side by 100. Because dividing and then timesing by 100 won't change the, num the value of the number. But what it will do is it will put it into standard form. Because this will be 4.8 and then 10 to the 9 times 100 is the same as 10 to the 9 times 10 to the 2, which is 10 to the 11. Okay, now we've got to uh, write it as a uh, product of prime factors. So let's take um, 480 and split that. So that will be 48 and 10, which will be 8 and 6, 2 and 5, 2, 4, 
2, 2 should circle as I go along actually just to make sure I don't avoid any mistakes and 2 and 3 okay so the 48 part is 2 to the 1 2, 3, 4, 5 so 2 to the 5 multiplied by we have a 3 and we have a 5 but we also need to multiply this by 10 to the 9 Okay, now let's split 10 up into its prime factors. So that will give me um, 2 times 5 to the power of 9. And that's the same as writing 2 to the power of 9 times 5 to the power of 9. And then finally, I would like to um, collect up the 2s. So I've got 14 2s because 9 and 5 and I've got 1 3 and I've got 5 to the 10 and finally it says find the largest factor of n that is an odd number so in order to have it be an odd number it cannot be divisible by 2 so this needs to disappear and in fact, an odd number can only have odd factors. So my largest number factor of n is going to be 3 times 5 to the power of 10. And we're done. That's prime factors completed. Like, share and subscribe. See you for the next one.